Hey everyone, welcome back to Interviews with Plants. I'm Alex and today we're talking to the ponderosa pine, also known as Pinus ponderosa. So this is a conifer tree. It can grow up to about 30 meters tall. Typically found in the interior of BC, it's very well adapted to drought and high temperatures. So let's start by looking at the bark. So ponderosa pine is well adapted to fire. So its, it's bark can be quite thick, up to 10 centimeters thick on older trees like this one here. It's kind of an orangey brown, almost like a cinnamon color, and it's got really deep fissures. And the other defining feature is that the bark comes off in these almost puzzle, puzzle piece like plates that you can pick off with your fingers. So let's take a look at the cones. The cones are broadly oval to cone shaped. They can be eight to 14 centimeters long. And each of the scales are armored with these stiff prickles at the end of them. Probably the most defining feature of the ponderosa pine are the needles. So the needles come in bundles of three. So here's one bundle here, and there are three needles that come out of this bundle. The needles themselves are, can be about 10 to 20 centimeters long. They're evergreen, they're flexible, and these are the longest needles on any of the conifers that you'll find in British Columbia. So that was a little bit today about the ponderosa pine, also known as Pinus ponderosa. I want to thank you for watching. Let's thank the ponderosa pine for its time. If you like these videos, don't forget to leave a like below and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. Thanks. See you in the next one.